The Hypomanic Edge, Harnessing Bipolar Disorder as a Creative Force. The Hypomanic Edge by John Gartner is a compelling exploration of how individuals with hypomanic tendencies have shaped American history. Gartner, a clinical psychologist, delves into the intersection of psychology, culture, and history, arguing that the hypomanic temperament, a mild, controlled form of mania, has been a driving force behind the country's most innovative and successful individuals. This essay will examine the key ideas presented in The Hypermanic Edge, focusing on how hypermania, a component of bipolar disorder, can be harnessed as a gift when managed properly. Understanding Hypermania and Bipolar Disorder To appreciate Gartner's thesis, it's essential first to understand what hypermania is. Hypomania is a state of heightened energy, creativity, and productivity, often characterized by elevated mood, increased self-confidence, and a relentless drive to achieve goals. Unlike full-blown mania, hypomania does not typically include delusions, hallucinations, or the severe impairment in functioning seen in bipolar eye disorder. However, it is still a part of the bipolar spectrum, most commonly associated with bipolar II disorder. Bipolar disorder is a mental health condition that involves extreme mood swings, including episodes of mania or hypomania and depression. While the depressive phases can be debilitating, the hypomanic phases, when managed well, can lead to extraordinary creativity, productivity, and success. Gartner's book focuses on the positive aspects of hypomania, suggesting that when individuals with this temperament learn to control their energy and ideas, they can achieve remarkable things. The Hypomanic Edge in American History Gartner's central argument in The Hypomanic Edge is that many of the individuals who have played pivotal roles in American history exhibited hypomanic traits. He suggests that the United States, a nation built on the idea of constant progress and relentless ambition, has provided the perfect environment for hypomanic individuals to thrive. The book highlights several historical figures, including Christopher Columbus, John Winthrop, Alexander Hamilton, Andrew Carnegie, and modern-day entrepreneurs like Ted Turner, who all exhibited signs of hypomania. For example, Gartner portrays Christopher Columbus as a man with a grandiose vision, relentless energy, and an unwavering belief in his destiny, traits consistent with hypomania. Similarly, Alexander Hamilton, one of the founding fathers of the United States, displayed extraordinary ambition, creativity, and a drive to shape the young nation, all of which can be linked to hypomanic tendencies. In modern times, the book discusses how the hypomanic temperament has driven the rise of Silicon Valley, with entrepreneurs who possess the energy, risk-taking propensity, and relentless optimism characteristic of hypomania. Hypomania is a gift. One of the most significant contributions of Gartner's work is the reframing of hypomania as a potential asset rather than merely a liability. He argues that hypomania, when managed properly, can be a gift. Individuals with hypomanic tendencies are often visionaries who think outside the box, exhibit infectious enthusiasm, and possess the energy to turn ideas into reality. These traits can lead to remarkable achievements in various fields, including business, politics, science, and the arts. However, the key to harnessing this gift lies in management. Without proper management, hypomania can escalate into full-blown mania, leading to impulsive decisions, financial ruin, and personal turmoil. Gartner emphasizes the importance of self-awareness, discipline, and, in some cases, medication and therapy to help individuals with hypomanic tendencies harness their energy and creativity without succumbing to the darker sides of bipolar disorder. The role of environment and support. Gartner also discusses the role of environment and support systems in managing hypomania. He notes that individuals with hypomanic tendencies often thrive in environments that allow them to channel their energy into productive outlets. For example, the entrepreneurial culture of Silicon Valley with its emphasis on innovation, risk-taking, and rapid growth, can be an ideal setting for hypomanic individuals to flourish. Additionally, having a strong support system, whether through family, friends, or professional networks, can help these individuals maintain balance and avoid the pitfalls of their condition. 
Gartner's book suggests that society should recognize and nurture the positive aspects of hypomania, rather than stigmatizing individuals with bipolar disorder. By providing supportive environments and resources, society can help these individuals harness their unique gifts for the greater good. The Hypomanic Edge by John Gartner offers a provocative and insightful perspective on the role of hypomania in American history and culture. The book challenges the conventional view of bipolar disorder as purely a debilitating condition, instead highlighting how hypomania, when managed properly, can be a powerful force for innovation, creativity and success. Gartner's work encourages a rethinking of how we view mental health conditions like bipolar disorder, advocating for a more nuanced understanding that recognizes both the challenges and the potential gifts these conditions can bring. In conclusion, Gartner's exploration of the hypomanic edge is a reminder that the qualities that make someone different can also be the source of their greatest strengths. When individuals with hypomanic tendencies learn to manage their condition, they can turn what might otherwise be a source of chaos into a driving force for positive change, both in their own lives and in the world at large.